Today we're taking a look at a really weirdly parted together pre-build. This right here is an STG Abron PC from Amazon and the specs on paper don't make a lot of sense and it looks like it's gonna be bottleneck city, but we won't know until we open up and test it after a word from today's sponsor. Nothing hurts me more than seeing someone with a nice mid-range gaming PC, but a low end 60 hertz monitor. Why would you settle for less when you can have more for your money? Micro Center is having monitor madness deals all month long and it's the best time to buy a new monitor. My favorite deal is the Acer X Z272U 27 inch 1440p 165 hertz monitor for only $179. But there are more than 150 monitors for sale in case you want something different. Micro Center is also having a deal for new customers. You can get the Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer for only $149. And you can save even more by taking advantage of their submit a build discount. If you submit your PC build to Micro Center's build showcase, they'll email you a Micro Center coupon worth $25. Plus, if you happen to be located in North Carolina, you're in luck because Micro Center is opening a brand brand new store in Charlotte. If you're interested in learning about all of Micro Center's offerings, check out the links in the description down below or head over to microcenter.com. Big thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. Shall we open up the Sergeant Abron? Sergeant Abron. Um, but yeah, STG Abron is a uh, well pre-built company from STG Skytech Global, not to be confused with Skytech Gaming. Um, they <laughs> sell on Amazon, and we read a lot of their systems because they sell a lot on Amazon. And poor Jonah just got hit by Dude, the box. You hear that? This thing has. I mean, listen, it's like cracking joints. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna oh, wait. Oh. 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 Typical, we get a backlight gaming keyboard. I feel like we've looked at so many of these, but Jonah, I'll open it up. I'll, I'll, I'll let you see it, because I know you're thinking about upgrading your gaming keyboard at home. All the time, we gotta you show think? you guys. Would you run it? Yep. So, uh, um, maybe maybe like Grand Grandmaster on Overwatch? Maybe. The mice are always the worst part. Like, Is it gonna be the one that has the little... Uh, I think it's the same one. <laughs> the fan on the side? <laughs> No, oh, this one, this one's pretty basic. I mean, look at the, how small that sensor is. I mean, like just based on the oh size, God. I don't know how that's gonna work very well. Um, yeah, but, but the liftoff's bad. Liftoff's bad. <laughs> Again, it, they at least include it. I yeah. mean, it's RGB mouse pad. Is it actually RGB though? Yeah. Now it is a little like I would. Okay, this is a, just a, a note to preload companies. Give a non-RGB full-size yeah. mouse pad, like an XXL mouse pad. I, I, we know how much they cost. You can so much more useful. Probably get a full-size one for cheaper than this RGB one. If you use a small one like that at home, let us know down below. Please upgrade too, by the way. Let us know what's wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, and then we get a, a power cord. Fair enough. The packaging seems a little bit different from what it used to be especially with the uh, labeling on the front that everyone deserves a gaming PC. This almost is like uh, like kind of HP like, you know? Like yeah. very, very basic, but like good packaging. Maybe they didn't listen to how we talk about the Victus shows up in one piece all the time. And they're like, <laughs> let's just copy their packaging. They saw our video. Should we do the same thing to this one that we did the HP? Oh wait, we got a treat for Jonah. Mmm, yummy. Yeah. Oh, that is a big package. That'll last you a couple days. Yeah. Uh, one thing to mention, the specs of this PC. It comes with a i5, once again, same crap, i5 in the title, but once you dive into the description, it's an i5 4570 and an RX 5600 XT, which is pushing it a bit, but if you wanna know what actually is pushing it, the other version that you could buy now for only ten dollars more with an RX fifty seven hundred and the same <laughs> i five. It's uh, on paper. It's very obvious why there's going to be a bottleneck. I mean, that fourth gen i five is a four core four thread, and they're just they're not great these days. Um, you know, maybe like eight years ago, these were this this would have been a really good system, but nowadays these new games they just love newer CPUs, and uh, the fact that we're only going to get what gen three by sixteen, and aren't these cards gen four by eight or something like that? <sighs> Verify 5600 XT, that might be a Gen 4 by 8 Well, let's we'll figure that out, Jonah. It says, keep it in the 110 gear all the time. <laughs> Whoa, the 110 gear? <laughs> Misuse will lead to short circuit of power supply or even a fire. All right, well, we're on the 110 gear, putting it into overdrive. Oh no, so this card is a PCI 4 by 16. So you you should be okay, but again, you are still running a Gen 4 card in a Gen 3 slide, mm -hmm. you will lose some performance. Yep. Yep, it's not, it's not the most ideal if you're asking us like best bang for buck. But I mean, I don't know, the price like isn't terrible. I feel like I remember paying this number for pre-builds that had like the generic, like really crappy AliExpress and I'm saying generic as I'm opening it. it. I'm is like, that's definitely a generic it's card. It's definitely a generic card. <laughs> this is definitely the AliExpress level of card. Um, and speaking of that price, it is $479 at the time recording this video. Okay, two RAM slots. So that's cool. Or two RAM sticks. That's a bling say. bling fan. 
Yeah, what is that RAM? T TX RU? TX RU? Uh, DDR3, 8 gigs, so 16 total, 1600 megahertz, which, uh, man, that just hurts with that DDR3, 5600. Man. Very small motherboard. Almost, it's micro ATX, but it's almost mini ATX. Uh, very much the AliExpress board. You can just tell by looking at the green SATA ports and the no branding on the motherboard. Um, generic kind of probably static RGB. Actually, it does have a connector, so maybe RGB. It may be all hooked up together, I don't know. Could be. Can we see the brand on this 5600 XT? Does oh, it it's, have one? It has STG branded fans. So uh -oh. I'm assuming they're probably working directly with the manufacturers <laughs> that do those AliExpress cards, because yeah. the 5600 non-XT and 5600 XT is very prevalent from those companies. Very much white label. It's definitely yeah. not like they're working with XFX or something like that. They're not working directly with AMD <laughs> on these. They are, they're all yeah. over the place. We got the bling fan in the back. We got these fans that don't really match. And are these the bling fans up front? They yeah, are, the yeah. Ones. So they, I guess the fan, oh yeah, oh, yeah, that's weird. Why not, I don't know, why not just not have these? And I don't think those are reverse blade fans. I think they are just literally blowing into the power supply basement. I will say. Cable management good? They kind of, oh, they kind of went hard on cable They kind of did all right here. I mean, I like that. Like it's not like zip tied well, but they did run it and hide everything. Like if I opened this up and I was just a random customer, I'd be like, oh, this looks really good. It is using a fan hub that is like, what we'd call proprietary. That's the that's the main problem with this build. We may be really shocked. I, I don't know what to expect even. We might benchmark this and maybe amazing, but if it's not amazing and you're you're at home thinking I'm gonna buy this and then upgrade it, the problem is you're gonna need to get a whole new motherboard, all new RAM, a new CPU, and at that point, you're basically spending the same price that you paid for this whole computer to upgrade it. And doing that is almost like rebuilding an entire PC. Yes. So I would get this if it had a lesser GPU and let's say like a six or seven gen, like i7, four core, eight thread, that still has some longevity to it. But when we're talking like fourth gen now, these really should be like $200, $300 and come with like a, oh, I don't know, RX 550 at most. All right, and I'm doing the, I, we don't always do this, but I, I don't know what the power supply is. It's and probably I'm probably STG branded. Probably be STG. I'm, I'm assuming a six, I don't know, probably a 600 watt. Realistically, I mean, 450 or five is fine for this build, but I'm just curious. I know a lot of people always wonder this at home. I'm hoping to not up, uh, mess up their cable management too much. It is a STG Abron 500 watt with looks, so the exact model is the SKPS 500. I don't see any rating, so I'm assuming it's not 80 plus rated. Okay, so let's put this back in. Let's just see what this RGB looks like. Cause really even looking at the Amazon listing, I mean, they're going crazy <laughs> with the RGB advertising. <laughs> I mean, that's really what they go for with these builds. And that's why they stay stand on an Amazon versus like an office computer that's upgraded and they're doing well. Skytech's been around for years at this point. We reviewed a lot of them, um, especially with this STG Abron line and they sell pretty well. So let's see, what, what are we looking at with this config? All right, last screw going in, let's grab a power cord. Or it will not light up at all. Uh, Case number one of why we should turn it on before we start taking stuff apart. SATA appears to be plugged in. There's a remote. We're troubleshooting You know how long it's been sitting at the Amazon warehouse, you know? Ah, it was there just it goes. Off. All good. So the hub was turned off for some reason, you but there the it is. turn the fan speed down? Uh, will light you? Ooh. Oh, wow, that actually works way better than I thought. Jonah, what? Oh, oh. oh. It, turns, it turns off, just off. off. <laughs> Oh, it went off. All right, so we'll get off this demo mode and go to this. There we go. Ooh, all right, what's this RGB? So, so the cooler is separate, it looks like. Oh, no, never mind, it's not, I lied. It's, not like it's, it's, it's tacky, but like, if you like RGB, you will love the look of this build. Ooh. White. Ooh, Jonah likes. <laughs> <Nah>. Fire. <laughs> That's, that's exactly what he sounds like. But hey, we're not here for just the look. So we wanna see what this bottleneck is like. Is that 4th Gen i5 really gonna hold it back like we think? We're gonna play some games that'll stress it. Especially some higher end games that really want better CPUs and see if this thing is worth the $479 price point. All right, guys, we're playing, 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 playing. playing. And uh, we, are, we are asking a lot from this. We're doing the balance preset with like no upscaling because we think upscaling might make it worse since this i5 will have to take over and it is already at 100% most of the time. This cutscene is where the GP is being used the most actually. We're getting up to 90% usage there, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. This is, it's already looking like a good example of CPU bottleneck. We'll see if it gets any better once he lands. Yeah, the warm up lobby was a little bit worse feeling, so maybe, maybe, maybe it's it was better. just rendering some stuff in, you know? Here we go. That, that's back to uh, the I'm used to. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can get some kills with this. Uh, why is it not auto shooting? <laughs> <laughs> this anywho. is what happened. Remember when we were streaming and I did this? Yes. Anywho. Well, all right. Um, I'm, I'm set up for failure. We'll definitely have to try like maybe doing like the basic or the yeah. preset in a minute. We'll, you know, we'll so test a bunch of settings here because it's cows or brace yourself. There's gonna be a bunch of settings being tested, but we need to make sure that we're not doing anything that's causing problems here. Got him. 
360 no scope. Oh. Oh, 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 wait, oh, oh, I'm hurt. How are they shooting through the table? Oh my oh, god, buddy. he flew at me. All right, Mikhaus, we're gonna go ahead and try. We got a basic at this point, I guess. We got a minimum. <laughs> oh, or it crashed. Oh, basic. There we go. Oh, this, 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 this guy's about it. They have one I'm bullet left. This guy bought. Is he real? Oh my god. Okay. I, I, I say that is uh, you know I have an excuse. Okay. Yeah, Although, excuse. That, that could be the guy in the GT710. It could be. We saw someone on stream who uh, used a GT710 to play this game. I can't believe it. I, I wasn't even worried about it. You can throw FSR on just see what happens. Yeah. Mean, look at these rocks. They look like clay. It's loading. Dude, I, I'm so there's people. Oh! Yeah, it's great. Oh! You know, this is just like one example of those games where you really can't make it much better because there's just that one part just holding it back. You know? <laughs> this might be it for me, friends. Oh. <laughs> RIP, that guy had no idea. Oh, dude, I, he was sitting so still that I didn't even see him. Oh, yeah, I think so he was like, already on the ground. Uh, oh, well. Well, that's Warzone. Um, you know, definitely playable, but like you definitely couldn't get dubs easily on this, especially for like a higher skill level and... Um, even at the price that it's at, it still doesn't make a ton of sense for a game like this. Let's try Fortnite. Yeah, maybe a game that makes sense. Hey guys, it's a little bit of a journey to get into Fortnite, but we got there and we're running uh, 1080p DX12 performance settings, far reduced distance, slow textures, all that sort of fun stuff. This is a new season I have not played yet. Um, I don't know what's really different. Already seeing the same CPU problem, but we'll let Fortnite load in normally, even on the like first drop. Takes a little bit to lose a thin. I'm just saying, the textures are uh, struggling a bit. There they are. Come on, that's the classy court side now. But yeah, performance settings, you're gonna be much more CPU bound. But then if we run games on higher settings, it's stuttery because the GPU is already so CPU bottlenecked. So it's just, it's just a weird config. It would have been better off having a lesser GPU and being well cheaper. What the? Oh. Look, look, that's not even loaded no. in. Oh no. Oh, they're splashing. Give me that! Her feet over here. Oh! <laughs> Goblin selfie. Goblin this selfie. This is what takes. Man, yeah, about a 103. Honestly, a bit better than I was expecting from the initial drop. I thought it was gonna be like 40 to 50s, but here's the situation right there where it does stutter a decent amount. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. It's a sweat lord. Ah, ah! Oh my god, dude, they freaking knew what they were doing. That was scary. Oof. What about oh. bird underneath you? Oh, I'm getting shot from somebody else. Can I steal that kill? Yeah! It was bold, is what it was. Thank you for being a bot. Hey! Oh, yeah, someone's shooting at him. Anywho, that's Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. Runs absolutely. Hey! Another one? Another one. Another one. Easy 10 kills on the board right now. Um, but yeah, that's Fortnite. Um, apparently, give me a bird. Peter Griffin flying. It's, it's, it's a fever dream at this point, but doesn't run amazing. Definitely CPU bottleneck. But what we're going to go ahead and do is run some more demanding games. And maybe we'll throw in like another esports title that make a little more sense on like higher settings and see if that runs any better. But as we expected, configuration's a bit of a bottleneck mess. And uh, yeah, we'll run those real quick and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our little pre-build here. And, you know, overall, it made it through all the tests. There was no major crashing or anything. Fortnite was a little odd. It took a while to get in the game and everything. But other than that, it did play everything we threw at it with a lot of setting adjustments. For a $479 pre-built, it does what you would think a pre-built at that price point would do. The configuration is just kind of strange, but as you can see on our 3 dmr Time Spy score, the GPU definitely carried. We got a score of 5,729, which is an 8 cent per point score, but I guess this would be the one example where that score doesn't really tell the whole story. If you are going to play higher end games, you're going to be bottlenecked a little bit. I would have really liked to see them go with like a 6 or 7 gen, like i7 with this build. Yes, obviously it'd be more expensive, but I would rather see that than this configuration currently 
And then some other AAA titles that show this example, Cyberpunk at 1080p medium settings with no FSR. We got an average of 57 FPS with minimums around 38, but we did test a game that would make sense for it like Rainbow Six Siege. And at 1080p high settings, we got 178 FPS average. So all in all, not bad, but it is a pretty ugh, weird configuration in our opinion. We wanna know what you think in the comments down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. This PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.tech with a little discount and a new and improved one year warranty. If you guys didn't know, we review PCs here on the channel and whoa, Jonah is getting up close and personal right now. We review PCs here on the channel and whether we like them or not, we're gonna sell them at PC Bros at great prices so you can get a good deal um, based on us spending our money for these videos. So PCBros.tech, see you guys later, goodbye.